Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel I Love Pharmacology and in today's session let us understand what do you understand by drug efficacy and drug potency. So both are very important terminologist you need to understand in general pharmacology. So let us draw a DRC graph to understand the drug potency and drug efficacy. So we will draw a two graphs. So this will be your log dose, log dose on the x axis, on the x axis and this is the response or the effect curve on the y axis, on the y axis. So this will be the agonist, this will be the agonist. So this will be your, whenever you give a drug. So this is the response or the DRC that you are going to get it, that you are going to get it. Let us say this is a drug A. This is the drug A. Drug A. And we will write one more DRC curve for the drug B. Drug B. So let us consider it as drug B, drug B. So if you compare a drug A and the drug B, so both the curve looks similar but there are some differences you should remember. So whatever the thing which is on the x axis, it will going to represent your dose, dose. What about the y axis? On the y axis, this will going to represent your the response or the efficacy, response or the efficacy. Whereas the dose is nothing but the potency. Potency. So if you increase the dose, so if you increase the dose, so to get the similar response to that of A, you have increased the dose. So the dose will gradually increase as you move towards right hand side. That means the potency will decrease towards right hand side. If the dose moves towards the left hand side, the potency will increase. Potency will increase. That means at the minimal dose for example let us consider it as a 2 milligram so this is the 4 this is the 6 milligram so the dose which is required to produce the effect of the drug A and drug B is different for drug A you require a 2 milligram for drug B you require a 6 milligram so if the dose is lower dose is lower means potency is high so let us write it here if the dose decrease in the dose which produces the response that means there is an increase in the potency if there is an increase in the dose to produce similar response that means the potency will reduce potency will reduce so and the height will show you about the this height will show you about the efficacy so drug A and B so drug A and B are equally efficacious they are equally efficacious but drug A is 
potent than drug B in terms of potency potency the drug A is more potent than drug B drug B so this cap will tell you about the will tell you about the potency and this height will tell you about the efficacy efficacy is that clear so let us understand with one more graph so let us draw a DRC so if you plot this is drug A this is drug A and this is drug B drug B so this is the X axis this is the Y axis as we discussed y axis you will get a response and here it is the log dose of the drug so y axis will mainly tell you about the efficacy and the x axis will tell you about the potency potency so here drug a is more efficacious more efficacious because the efficacy of B has been reduced efficacy of B has been reduced so what about the potency the potency is same potency is same but the efficacy of the drug B is reduced when compared to the drug A so then how you can define a potency and the efficacy potency and the efficacy so please remember please remember uh, potency means potency means it is the amount of amount of drug that is required to produce the response it is the amount of drug which is produced the response so usually represented by the x-axis so what about the efficacy efficacy is your maximal maximal response maximal response or the maximal effect so it is represent on the y axis y axis so this is the potency and this is efficacy potency means it is the amount of drug whereas efficacy means the it is the maximal response that can be produced by a administer drug so this was about the concept on the drug potency and the drug efficacy so always need to remember this graph so that you can interpret easily which drug is more efficacious as well as which drug is more potent when compared to the other group of drugs so let me revise once again for you so we have a drug efficacy and drug potency so when you draw a response versus the log dose curve that is DRC curve so if you give a agonist dose you will get this response for a drug A and drug B you will get a response like this so on the X axis we represent the dose X axis we represent the dose dose is nothing but the potency potency so as the dose moves towards further away from the center if it moves towards the right hand side the potency will decrease potency will decrease if the drug moves towards the uh, left hand side the drug amount of drug required is very less to produce the effect that means to say drug will be having more potency so if the dose is reduced the potency will increase if the dose is increased the potency will reduced on the y axis you will represent the height height will going to give the efficacy of a given drug so this is the height this is the efficacy of drug A and drug B so efficacy of drug A and drug B are similar whereas with respect to the potency drug A is more potent than drug B so likewise if you consider this graph 
so here the drug a and the drug b has got similar potency whereas the efficacy wise the height height the height of drug a is more when compared to drug b so the efficacy is more here whereas the drug b efficacy is reduced so coming to the definition so potency means it is the amount of drug which is required to produce the response which will be represented by x axis and efficacy means there is the maximal response to the administered drug which will be represented on the y axis so this was all about the efficacy and the drug potency so if you found this video useful please do subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology thank you